Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com. So I had this idea about creating a quiz app, but it would have different formats for questions and answers. And I'll give you an example. Let's say we have an artist and we can ask a question such as, where was this artist born? And we would have options with text. But we could also ask something like, which of these paintings were painted by this artist? And then we would just show images as options for answers. Okay, so could you play me a song and I have to guess who's the artist? Yeah, definitely, could be. And I could play against my friends. Yes, so what do you think of the idea? I like it. It looks simple, but I think it can get complicated, especially with services, some way of storing data, multiplayer, but that would be a great showcase. Do you want to build it? Yeah, should we? I guess so. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, let's build this prototype. Can I drive here? I think it's important for me to show if I got your idea. I think that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's make this a single view application. Let's call it quiz for now. Swift, unit test, yeah, that looks all right. Git, okay. We can use the storyboard as a prototyping tool here. Yeah, it's pretty easy to use and right. don't need to no. write code. Exactly. We let's see, let's see. Code. I see it as a navigation controller where you can go from question to question, maybe go back and forth mm -hmm. until you get to the last one and you show a result page. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And let's have a table view controller where we can have a question and every cell would be a potential answer. Yeah. Okay. And you can add your question as the table view header. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a cell. Right. Okay. Let's make this the root. Okay. I like this idea. So if I have a label, I can add it as the header like that and I can have static cells in storyboards without any code I can put a working table view yeah on the screen it's a kind of what you see is what you get exactly I think three options here is enough let's add a question and I have an idea what is Mike's nationality Okay. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I think you look a bit Canadian. I've heard that before. But you have an American accent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so, but... But I know where you are from. That's how I see the quiz right now. Yeah. Right. Just a table view, a question some potential answers. As you select it, you go to the next question. Yep, you progress to the next question. Okay. So for this prototype, we can probably segue from one question. Mm -hmm. we can copy and paste these. And create another question. Yeah. So if you select the right one, it doesn't matter if it's right or not, but for the prototype, I think that's fine. Yeah. What should we ask here? What's Kaya's nationality? <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's go with that. Okay. What is my nationality? But that's tricky. I know. It can have a multiple selections here. Exactly. Okay. So let's make this table view. Multiple selection. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Am I Portuguese? American or am I... Brazilian. Okay, but if I have multiple questions, I cannot just select something and go to the next question. We will need a way for progressing here and maybe a, a simple bar button item uh, could do it. Okay. So I'm gonna have to add a navigation item to my view controller. Yeah. Probably in the right bar button. 
Submit. Submit. Okay. And from here, I think for the prototype, we can just go to the result page. Yeah, two question pages are enough, so. I think the result page should look like a table view as well. Could be pretty where similar. Every cell can be the result. Yeah, I agree. And we will have to find a way for showing the correct answer and the wrong answer in case. Yes. So here, the submit button will segue to the result and not the cell. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need some kind of summary, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And every cell would be a question and an answer. Should we repeat the question here? I think it provides some context. Okay. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Maybe double the size. Okay. Well, let's add Greek and some kind of indication that you got it right. Mm -hmm. A color would green, do. Green color, probably. Green color, okay. And that's what's Mike's nationality. Yes, thank you. What is Mike's nationality? Well, what about mine? Let's say you got it wrong. How would you show that? We can show with red the user answer and then underneath with green the correct answer. What do you think? Yeah. So maybe three lines? Three lines, yeah. Okay. At least for now, for the prototype. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So let's say you got it wrong. We show it in red. Mm -hmm. Then a second line or a third line with the right answer. Yes. Okay. Comma separated? Comma separated. I think that's fine for now. At some point we're gonna have a designer working on this. Hopefully. Hopefully. And let's put this green. Okay. And we can get rid of this unless table view. We don't need it. Let's add some titles. Or the view controller. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to add some navigation bar. Or navigation the item. Navigation item, yeah. Uh, result page, so result, should we add it here? What should we add for the questions? Maybe just yeah. question something simple. number one, one and question number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that looks correct. Let's run the app. It's ugly, but... <laughs> Okay, let's run the app and see what happens. Okay, here it is, the running prototype. And if I select Greek for Mike's nationality, I go to the next question. In here, I can select more than one, but let's say for the sake of the prototype, right. that I select a Brazilian, submit. This is it, this is how I, Picture it, and I think we, we got it right here. Okay, that looks nice. It's native, it can run on my iPhone. I can show it to my friends. Yes, I don't know about nice, what you said, but it definitely communicates the idea, and that's the important thing. It shows intent. Exactly. And actually, we didn't write any code. That's what I wanted to say also. No code at all. How quick was it to build it? Probably less than 15 minutes. I'm pretty happy with the result. Me too. All right, good job. Yeah, cool. So this prototype thing, was it worth it? We'll see, but it took us less than 15 minutes and now we have a clear idea on what to build. So I would say yes, it was worth it. Definitely. 
And if you're lucky enough to have a designer working with you, they could come up with images and you can just link them. Or if you have fancy software, it can do it for you. But a cost-effective solution, as we saw, are plain storyboards. So what should we do next? Start coding. Finally. That's what I want to do. I'm a developer. Exactly. A production code we're going to be writing. I don't think we need a spike. We have this prototype. We can just carry on writing code, tests. We can start with a simple test and then get from there. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm.